Welcome to my channel, I'm Gary Wiriawan and today is another everyday photography vlog uh, featuring this time the Olympus 12-200mm to lens right here I really enjoy using this lens this last few days and I want to uh, document myself using this lens trying to take some real pictures on the field as like today so yeah this is part of my everyday photography challenge one more time and i want to link the vlogs right here so you can watch the other vlogs so basically the point of this vlog is i don't want to talk about gear all the time in my channel i don't want to just do lens review camera body review all that kind of stuff it's good it's great it helps you uh, make a decision when you're trying to buy a new lens or a new camera but i also want to use my camera gear so uh, i want to go out and take more pictures as opposed to just talking about the lens or the camera or things like that so that's the whole point of this video and yeah today i'm here at a restaurant here in Yogyakarta. it's not dinner time it's still very early but it's also not lunch time it's that weird time in between i'm having a little bit of snacks and drinks with my wife here in the restaurant on the countryside as usual and yeah we're going to take some pictures but before that i want to explain a little bit of my gear situation so as you can see right here this is my bag right here this is just a regular sling bag from alpaca gear called go sling mini it's not really that big it's not really that heavy it's not really a camera bag as well but this is my usual camera bag that i bring out with me whenever i do this everyday photography challenge or even for travel photography as well i brought this back to united states trip a few months ago and the bag performed wonderfully as a camera bag and edc bag so inside i have my main camera the panasonic gx85 as well as the olympus 12 to 200 millimeter lens that I want to use extensively today because it's just such a wonderful super zoom lens that enables me to go from wide angle to ultra ultra telephoto in just one single lens I think the lens is really sharp it's really nice a full review of this lens will be coming out really soon so stay tuned for that please subscribe to my channel and besides that camera and lens I also have a couple of other lenses I have the uh, Panasonic 20mm f1.7 prime lens for taking environmental portrait uh, this is such a wonderful little prime lens I'm not going to use it today because I just want to focus on the 12 to 200 millimeter lens today see what it can do and just explore the possibilities with that lens and also as usual I have my ultra wide angle lens the Lawa 7.5 millimeter f2 so this is my main wide angle lens if I want something really compact it has really large aperture of f2 as well which makes it really useful for lower light situation so those are all my main camera setup this is my micro fortis camera uh, and lenses so that's all that i'm uh, using today and also my vlogging camera that's currently recording this video right now is the dji pocket 2 with its wireless mic which gives me a really good audio as you are hearing right now it can reject a lot of noise so even in a noisy environment like what I am right now uh, it can really handle the audio really well so now let's continue with shooting some pictures all right so for our first photograph of the day I'm thinking about if you can see right there there are some kids on the uh, uh, paddy field I want to try to capture them again Olympus 12 to 100 millimeter f 3.5 to 6.3 I'm setting my camera to f8 auto ISO electronic shutter wow with this lens it's very easy to capture this kind of image 100 millimeter probably aperture priority and i'm trying to capture that kit on the right pose we're gonna wait until the pose is correct you know wait just a little bit i'm going to take a sample picture first for now hope you can see what i'm doing in the camera waiting for that girl or maybe that boy on the right right there it's a little bit too far not a boy it's also a girl let's try one more time with that girl on the field i don't know what she's doing but i'm going to try to capture it makes for a nice hybrid kind of street photographs f8 yeah i got the right pose zoom in even further to 200 millimeter with this lens everything is just so easy yep zooming out a little bit to probably about a hundred as well waiting for the right pose yeah I like the combination of the paddy field with the tree and 
also this a little bit of the sky makes for a nice balance in the image and that girl just adds a lot into the image making for a good focal point of this picture all right all right for the next picture i'm thinking about getting a macro shot of this flower right here i think it really showcases the ability of the 12 to 200 lens right here to get really close focusing which is something that's really nice especially for a travel lens like this i'm zooming all the way to 200 millimeter i hope you can see uh, the screen of my camera oh it's a little bit too close <laughs> wow that's that's the first time I said it. I'm going to zoom out to probably about 180 millimeter. I can still get a nice shot right here. Wow, really nice. All right, there's a little bit of wind blowing, but I, I think I can still get a pretty sharp image here. Let's try. Nice. One more picture of flowers again. I have this flower right here, the red one, as you can see on the vlogging camera catches my attention I'm trying to get a, a bouquet shot of that particular flower at 200 millimeter at 200 millimeter everything is just so compressed and the background blur will be plenty so it's not very necessary for me to have a very very large aperture except for the fact that I want to have my camera to have higher shutter speed without having to crank the ISO and that's the the problem with high aperture uh, why you might want to have large aperture on your lens not necessarily for the thin depth of field but sometimes for the uh, shutter speed to help to uh, reduce the motion shakiness or blur or things like that right f8 this is uh, 200 millimeter as i said before now at 200 millimeter things starts to be a little bit difficult because sometimes uh, you lose the subject and then you you're like oh, where's the subject i I move the camera a little bit and it's gone now that's exactly what just happened all right so i already got some nice pictures i think i can see the screen of my camera yeah f8 auto iso auto everything nice i'm going to try one horizontal composition with more greens as the background i'm focusing on the middle of the flowers there looks really nice one more vertical with the right background with this kind of pictures you want to choose the correct background to make the uh, subject pops even more so something like this all right all right so for the next picture i'm thinking of getting a wide angle picture of the paddy field here in the restaurant we have some leading lines on the right there uh, i think it's gonna help to aim uh, the uh, uh, visual uh, where the eyes look at the picture into the uh, background so I'm thinking of using the plants here in front as sort of a foreground element. We don't really have a clear focal point for this image and that's a little bit of a bummer because we cannot really put somebody in the middle of the paddy field. But yeah, we're just going to try to compose this picture. We have a beautiful blue sky. It's a little bit cloudy, but it's still pretty much clear. It's a little bit hazy though because lots of people are burning their trash. We don't have a functioning trash center here in Yogyakarta currently that's a bit of a bummer but again f8 12 millimeter this is going to showcase the wide angle capability of this lens auto iso yeah I'm, I'm thinking of this particular composition I think it looks kind of nice all right let's try to move a little bit to the right here I'm thinking about trying to get a picture of that area right there maybe it it'll look better we have this leading line created by the plants in the foreground we're going to use the yellow flowers as sort of a foreground element as well let's try maybe it will work maybe it won't but that's the whole point of this blog it's not about making the perfect picture but this is more about me practicing trying to uh, improve my photography skill so i'm focusing on the plan on the foreground f8 12 millimeter a little bit of the sky looks beautiful right now something like this maybe maybe i'm going to put the camera a little bit lower because i don't want that plan to clash with that tree over there so yeah again by raising and lowering your camera you can adjust what happens in the foreground that's a very important lesson by the way something like this i hope you can see what i'm doing in the camera 
nice all right all right so next picture i will use this uh, kind of platform right here in the middle as sort of a leading line into the background we don't really have another focal point of this image i'm thinking about calling my wife later to stand here and be the model for the focal point of this image but again this is going to be a wide angle composition 12 millimeter f8 auto iso auto everything just a very simple composition like this i'm focusing right in the middle of the platform something like this i hope you can see what happens in the camera like this yeah i really enjoy this leading line created by the platform and also the addition of some plants in the foreground i really enjoy the paddy field as sort of the mid ground i think it looks great let's try vertical let's try vertical all right vertical looks nice as well again i'm focusing somewhere right there f8 12 millimeter one lots of the sky i hope you can see what happens in the camera something like this yep very nice one more time all right right for the next picture another simple landscape kind of picture uh, we're still using the leading line created by the platform here i'm gonna try to capture uh, these lamp poles right here it looks very nice i think makes for a nice sort of addition into the image we're going to use these plants as sort of the foreground the paddy field as the mid ground and also the trees behind there as sort of the background the lighting currently is very beautiful it's not really too harsh it's a little bit in the afternoon almost in the evening so we have this slightly softer light going on right now this is the composition that I was thinking about, 12mm f8. Nice, let's try one more time. I'm focusing on one of the lamp poles. Yep, very nice. I'm going to try to focus on the foreground right now. It's different focusing points. But yeah, I think this should be a really good composition for now. I really enjoy using the 12 to 200 lens because I think it just opens up lots of possibilities. I can go a really telephoto, even 200 millimeter. That's almost wildlife uh, capabilities. And I can also zoom out to 12 millimeter wide angle focal length. So very flexible. I've been enjoying this lens so much. This is not mine, by the way. Somebody uh, lent me this lens so I can use it for a few weeks very kind of that person thank you very much and yeah one more shot of this particular composition nice all right as promised i asked my wife uh, to be part of this video we want to try to take some portrait with the 12 to 200 millimeter lens this is such a wonderful lens for that i'm quite enjoying this lens so i'm thinking about 45 millimeter f8 we can try to reduce the uh, uh, aperture number i'm going to try larger aperture f5 for or the maximum aperture so this is the composition that we got uh, so yeah quite nice we don't really have lots of background blur with this lens but it's fine it's it's nice enough for a, a travel lens so if you're taking portrait of your family member when you are uh, traveling then I think this lens will do fine All right let's try uh, let's take some portraits right here vertical composition really nice alright we're going to try try to take some more portraits i'm going to zoom in a little bit more to about maybe 70 millimeter and stand back a little bit can you face over here please all right this is really nice all right like it all right some more portraits of my wife so i'm going to try to take a wide angle portrait of my wife with the 12 to 200 i'm at 12 millimeter f8 right now so i'm thinking about something like this adding a little bit of that flower using the paddy field as sort of the background and the sky as well we're going to crop it to maybe one by one aspect ratio because i don't really like this light pole right here it's not doing anything so something like this really nice again nice let's try vertical this time and with vertical we can eliminate the uh, lamp pole completely so something like this maybe i'm going to move a little bit right here right zooming just a tiny bit to probably about 16 millimeter this is really nice we're gonna wait for that person to pass all right and zooming out again to 12 millimeter i love that tree on the background on her left just looks really nice few more pictures really nice one more last one nice all right 
and that wraps up today's video so that is all for today's video i hope that you find this video to be useful and inspiring as well that's always been the point of why i'm making these everyday photography vlogs to inspire you to go out and take some pictures not just talk about gear all the time but we're also using our gear in the field so please let me know in the comment down below what things that you recently photographed these days i want to know about that also if you have any questions or comment about today's video please comment down below as well so yeah that's all for today's video i hope that you enjoyed it please don't forget to support my channel by liking this video sharing this video subscribing to my channel down below and if you want to support my channel even further you can use the super thanks button down below it will make a small donation to my channel and use my affiliate links as well on the description below that will also help me to grow this channel thank you and see you on the next video goodbye